we're looking for solutions that both help stop the juggernaut of climate change, which is costing so many lives already all over the world, and also enable people to still afford to keep warm and keep cool enough in the summer as well, because climate change is already killing people with heat, and the rising prices of fuel uh, are killing people because we can't keep warm in the winter, especially elderly people. So we are looking for, first of all, insulation, which is a major solution that both helps keep people keep warm and stops climate emissions. Uh, it has to be safe insulation, not flammable insulation, not flammable cladding like at Grenfell and not toxic insulation and cladding. We're also looking for heating systems that actually work for people and don't use fossil fuels. We're not going to be able to continue to heat our homes with gas. It's been very good in the sense that it's relatively cheap and people love to have gas central boilers in our homes, but we cannot afford it because of the climate and because climate change is also hitting our pockets in that it's raising the price of food. We can't afford to eat as well as can't afford to heat our homes. So we have to move away from gas. There are alternatives. There are heating systems that can be communal, that can get heat from, uh, from rivers, from the ground, uh, from you know all sorts of sources as well as sun the wind and electricity that is powered by sun and wind unfortunately the government has been moving away from wind they've more or less banned onshore wind which is the cheapest electricity they've tried to move toward nuclear power which is going to add to everybody's bills and we're very concerned about the bills that counts it can't be a question of try to save the climate but at the same time we're starving it has to be for everybody so another solution that we want is for uh, a pricing system that is fair and that doesn't charge people more when we use less. At the moment, we are paying more per unit if you have to cut down on your fuel because you can't afford it or if you cut down because you don't want the climate emissions. You're paying more per unit because of the standing charge. We want to reverse that and we're floating the idea of an energy allowance where everybody would have the basic amount of energy free or at very low cost and then you'd pay more if you were using a lot and there'd be, have to be protection for people who actually needed a lot because they were uh, ill, for example, or for some other reason. So those are three things. But beyond that, uh, on a personal level, I also think that there needs to be a, a complete reversal in what is valued. For instance, caring work, the work that keeps everybody going, the work that's mostly done by women for free at home, that has to be valued and paid for. Whereas the work that is damaging the climate, like the military, and a lot of fossil fuel industries, they don't want to be paid for. So we need a reversal of values and complete redirection of the whole economy.